Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about just how overbuilt these E39 5 Series really are. So, E39 5 Series are infamous for being sort of one of the last proper built BMWs. Um, I think it's a beautiful sort of timeless design. Um, and I think they're definitely, well, the values are are doing funny things at the moment some are going for really good money um some are very cheap so they're one of those cars to look out for um at the moment especially sort of the obviously the m versions etc they're a really really interesting proposition because they're they're close enough that they're um bob easy to use every day yet they're still of that era where things are over engineered so i think one of the first most obvious ones that you realize as soon as you walk up to the car as a sort of new E39 owner is the sound that the central locking makes. Just listen to this. Now those are the sounds of proper locks. Um, it always sounds like a bank vault opening and shutting and you can hear the motors and everything inside the doors. Just really <laughs> makes it sound like it was a tank or is it is a tank. Um, but the second thing you notice is the weight and heft of these doors. These are heavy doors. Um, they're built properly. They've got proper big chunky latches on. If you just gently push them, they don't shut properly. You have to give them a good shove. Um, and it makes all the different little things like that, all, all the touch points that you interact with during your time with a particular car. Um, it's just everything on the E39 feels solidly built. So this car is a 2003, one of the later Tourings. Um, they made the Touring up until 2004, but it's got a whole host of lovely features on it. Um, we've got some front and rear parking sensors. This boot has soft close, so if we, very handy for if you're putting the dogs in, don't want to shut anything on them, you just, push the boot down and it pulls itself shut. Um, it's, you know, little things like that on a 20 year old car that I'd spent 3000 pounds on, um, it's, it's pretty impressive. Obviously, I absolutely love the split tailgate here. So handy for just dropping bags and stuff in. Um, and actually, when you look at how this works, the electrics for the wiper motor and everything are powered through here. Um, so, it's quite a complicated little system um, but again it's just another example of how it's over engineered now these cars were sort of built at a time where BMW stood for luxury um, refinements and you can tell that straight away I mean this spec on this car is gorgeous um, I wouldn't have it any other way to be honest if I was specking it from the factory um, and the steering on these is 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 hefty um it's heavy but also so is the ignition barrel um you put the key in back here and there's just a certain heft to it that um just it's it's amazing really <laughs> you feel it straight away as soon as you put the key in as soon as you slam that door all the controls here are proper clicks everything is proper buttons um it's just it's just a lovely lovely place to be um even things like the ashtray here is over engineered we've got there's obviously the ashtray super nicely damped as it comes out and then for when you want to empty your ashtray you just pull that back a little bit further and it ejects the ashtray tray um so then you can completely remove that. This is also all illuminated as well inside here, which is lovely. We push it back in like so. And we've also got our emergency key that BMW provided back in the back in the day. The idea was that you put this in your wallet or something like that. So if you lost your key while you're out and about from your, with your BMW, um, you you would have the spare key where you could get in and drive home. Um, and then obviously you contact your BMW service centre to sort of well, to provide you with a new key so um little things like that just the way that that is and it presents itself it's just you know you just don't get that in modern cars you, nothing's very nothing's like beautifully damped same here with the glove box just look at how slow this glove box lowers down 
I mean, it's just, <laughs> and it's lit as well. Little things like that, these little details are what are missing from these modern cars. Um, another cool little thing, um, the sunroof. If you, no matter what you do, it'll always self-open this cover panel here. So I'm going to sort of just open it in event mode. Um, there'd be no point doing that with that cover on there. So the car will automatically pull that back as it lifts it up, um, which is pretty cool. Obviously, it doesn't close it. Um, but then if you were to open the sunroof all the way, it then catches it and opens the whole thing. So just little details like that, again, are just... Just pure quality. Um, the seat belts on this car are lovely as well. You've got the beige with the black piping on the edge. Um, just a little detail that BMW didn't have to do, but make a massive difference. And look, the way that these dance as well. Everything is just, it's designed to impress everything. Um, buttons, all of the buttons on here, they're proper buttons, you know, there's no touch screens, there's nothing like that. They've got a nice resistance. We've also got, obviously, the infamous cup holders. They just fold out. Um, they are quite flimsy is the only thing. It's disappointing, really, compared to the rest of the car. Um, and they... Yeah, that's a bit pointless. But it's just it's a proper job. Um, heated seat button, three levels. Nice and easy. And even down to parking lights the onboard computer. Um, the fact that this still works 20 years later is just nothing short of fantastic. This car has obviously been very well looked after in its life. Um, previous owner was very fastidious in the way he maintained it um, and that shows in sort of the, 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 the overall condition and uh, the fact that these screens work. They, they do tend to go. We do have a slight failure of the screen here, um, but uh, here's, an, here's another thing. <laughs> How James Bond is this? In fact, 20 years later, you can still put your cassette in um, and that still works. Yet, you can also install Bluetooth modules in these cars that make them work no problem at all. We've got telephone, we can set a, a pin code to, to stop, the, stop the engine starting. Um, we can preheat the car, uh, set on a timer. Um, we can have, we've got television, we've got, um, I've got no signal here, but um, it has free view, this car, it's had a module installed where it works, um, and it's just, you know, it's just outrageous. We've got digital sound profiles here where you can set different sound profiles, we've got concert hall, jazz club, cathedral, or you can set three of your own um, for listening to different genres of music. Um, it's just you know, the, the technology that they packed into these cars, but also made it so easy to use. Um, the onboard computer, brilliant. You know, you've got all the details that you need. The car will calculate, um, if, you, if, you, if you were to input your distance and how far you want, say we wanted to drive 100 miles, we put 100 miles, it would then work out your average speed. And what, there you go, that is telling me that I'll arrive at 1551 so that's, that's telling me it'll take five hours um or six hours but obviously it doesn't because i'm stationary so it will then work it out but it, that also then corresponds to the sat nav as well um so that will be on your sat nav um using your sat nav destinations but then you've also got speed limiter as well um little things like that you just it's just so fantastically made and incorporated into things. This BMW are really doing things right. Um, this is an interesting feature, the vents on the dashboard here. You can set your temperature obviously down here. Uh, you've got dual zone climate control um, and you've also got vents in the back that you can control the temperature of. Um, but if you are perhaps wanting, you want, the, you want the car at 16 degrees, but you'd like some warmth directed at your face, for example, you can actually, control these separately to the rest of the car so perhaps if you've got into the car and you've got cold hands um, but you want the, the car to be relatively cool you can actually warm your hands only um, it's it's a bit of a it might well, it's you don't again you don't get that on modern cars um but yeah just the way everything 
everything you touch is solid. There's no creaking, there's nothing like that. Even the wood, look at, look at the way this is worn. 20 years, 100, 113,000 miles, and it still looks fabulous. Um, you really can't um, pick many faults in the E39 design um, and the technology it had. Imagine owning this in 2003. You know, um, we've also got in the background here, you can see we've got the built in dog guard, which is fantastic. Um, a BMW um, thing that they did, well, they still do on the tourings. Um, we've even got our MPG meter here, which is actually quite accurate and is quite good for using, well, for for managing your, your fuel consumption. Um, I find that when I look at that, I drive far more efficiently than if I didn't. Um, these vents on the doors as well. You don't have vents on this side, you have vents on the doors. And the way they've engineered those to work as well. You've got the, you see the flaps operated by this here. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's a proper car. We've obviously got also the uh, memory function on the seats. There you go, I haven't shut the door properly there. Because you have to properly slam it. But it's, yeah, everything about these cars were built to last. Um, which is something that can't be said for modern vehicles. We've got a new electric X3 in the family. Um, and yeah, the quality just isn't the same as this. And having driven the, put a lot of miles on the, I think it's the G21 3 Series um, generation. They're just not built the same either. Um, it's a time where BMW, like I say, weren't hamstrung by budgets and costs and that sort of thing. They were just building the best cars that they could. Um, once you've got the parcel shelf, but yeah, there's the dog guard or luggage compartment guard that pulls up straight out of the same roll as the uh, parcel shelf here. You actually detach it, put it in the back seats, um, and it will connect in there as well. And then you can actually create a sort of safe extended loading bay as well to stop stuff flying through. This light here is, Mrs. DL goes mad at me for going on about this light, but this is one bulb doing two things. Um, so it's obviously giving a warning at the rear before anyone approaching. You've, you've got your boot open, just makes you a bit more visible. But then it also acts as a down lighter, so it illuminates the cargo area, which I just think is awesome. Um, we've then obviously got the brilliant BMW toolkit in here folds down beautifully and everything's there everything you need um, even they've even included a tool for winding the sunroof just in case it stops nowadays you're not even allowed to bloody touch the things um, whereas here BMW were giving all the tools that you needed um, and tucking it in a way that you wouldn't even notice um, and just look at the the way these are strutted um, you've got the two separate sets of struts for the rear tail, get the sort of the, the half glass area and the full boots. Um, these actually run inside the roof here. Um, these were done last year. They last on average about 10 years. They can be quite a difficult job to do, but um, it's just, you know, that level of over-engineering is brilliant. And that goes for the, the load, loading area here as well. BMW made a lot of effort to, or put a lot of effort into um, maximizing loading space. They actually re-engineered the suspension from the saloon car for the Tourings so that you didn't have any encroachment of wheel arches etc in the main loading area um, so what we get is a nice wide square loading area uh, which is just, you know, just little details that you just, you know it's, <laughs> it's it's fantastic we've even got air springs in the back of this as well um, sort of self level itself um, and yeah so I think it's not difficult to see why so many people love these cars um, Hopefully I've given you an idea of just how over-engineered these cars are. Um, all the little features designed to make your life easier, but also designed to impress. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what videos you'd like to see on the E39. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.